All right, guys, we're coming for round two. Uh, it might be a bit quiet compared to yesterday. We've had to go on from 28 degrees down to about 20. The barometer would have dropped out of the bum and it is freezing, hence the no shorts and no t-shirt, because I'm cold. Anyway, I've got the uh, Hyper Tees back on, so it's the five inch model of the Western. I've got it in the fire flake color, something that's really gonna stand out. And I'm not gonna waste much time at all, because I don't have much time at all. So, see if we can get some better fish, rather than this morning's one, they're a bit smaller. But we're thinking that it might be the change of weather that's uh, put them off the bite a bit, but who knows. There's something telling me we're in for a quiet session. As I'm walking up the beach, more, I'm just seeing more and more how clear the water's gotten from yesterday. Uh, the wind's been blowing in a specific direction for a while down here. And it's sort of favoured a bigger sea and more churned up waters. And yesterday we've copped a big southerly change that's blowing all through the night and basically we have extremely flat seas now. Uh, the water's just getting clearer and clearer. I've got a couple of hits, but they've just tapped it. Even Chris's fish this morning were a bit smaller, so yeah, we've been uh, flicking it for about 35 minutes now. Nothing as such yet. I'm not losing the hope, but it is looking like we may have a case of a shutdown fish. Yeah, right at the bank. Thank you very much. She's off. Oh, wow, what have we got here? Oh, jeez. Yeah, right, right, this is a bit better. This is a real good fish. Ooh. Just gonna back my drag off here. Bag, drag it all the way. Bait fish jumping there. We do get them all the way off this beach. Oh, we got a dolphin around there as well. Oh no. That might be our buddy from today, Chris. There's one thing that's done this to me before on this beach, and it's a damn stingray. <laughs> and I would not be happy if it was the case. That was a smoking first run though. I haven't got anything like that ever from a flathead. Could be one, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was smoking. I've, I've, to tell you the truth, I've no idea what it is. It's a mulloway. Beautiful, there you go. Mulloway off the beach, baby. Book a tee, you like that or what? Look at that, here he comes. He's going back in the wave now. I'm just gonna bring him back up. No, he doesn't want in yet. He does not want in. You ripper, <laughs> you ripper. All right, oh, it's a bit of a tricky one, uh, trying to land one of these by yourself on the beach. Because you've got the waves coming up all the time. I don't know how good that hook's in him. All right, let's bring him up, here we go. Here we go, yes, you beauty! <laughs> beach Mulloway, baby! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mate. Oh. <laughs> you ripper. Oh. You see that in my eyes or what? <laughs> you bloody ripper. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that in the car. Oh, he's croaking away. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Oh, right. Hinge of the jaw hook up. Oh, pop straight out. Beautiful stuff. The Western. It has done its damage, mate. Tell you what, I'm gonna be fond of these ones now. First beach, first land, land based Mulloway. Oh, would you have a look at that? Oh yeah, secret silver. The hyper T's done it. Slow day, but I'll take that any day. You ripper. Let's get him back in the water. There he is. He's off. All right, well, I'm a pretty happy man. 
Mate, right, Mulloway off the beach, uh, doesn't get much better than that, especially on lures. Uh, we've got a bit of a cloud cover rolling in now, it's pretty thick and dark, so... Well, I'm just going to switch up this plastic, I'm going to go to a Confused Tomato, which is another colour in the 5 inch hip, uh, Hypo Tees. I'm just going to rig him up through there. And pop him out. And we're good to go. Redo that knock, so I've got a bit of chafe from that Mulloway. But yeah, it just goes to show, doesn't it? We were fishing for about an hour and a half. Fish the main spot we normally hit. Nothing. We thought a bit about it. Walked up the beach to hit the gutters. Kept on fishing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Before you know it, why? So it just goes to show persistence pays. So anyway, I'm going to uh, put my confused tomato on and uh, get back to it. Well, that's about it. Time has exhausted. It's getting dark, and that was a very tough session. There was only one fish, and <laughs> boy, am I happy about it. But other than that, it was very quiet. I'm tipping as that, that southerly change has come in, turn a bit off the chew. Yeah, and that Mulloway seemed to come on an ebb tide, so right on the slack of that low, there was not much movement. Bay fish were just cruising around. Well, not complaining here. Fire flake, that was the colour. Wicked stuff. Anyway, we're going to call it again. It's getting dark. Uh, I think we're going to do one more session tomorrow. So, we'll uh, give it one more crack. Chris will see you tomorrow. Ta-da.